In the heart of the Caribbean, where the ocean meets the bustle of daily life in Barbados, a groundbreaking initiative is transforming the way we see and utilize one of the island's most abundant yet overlooked resources. Fisheries may include, but is not limited to, particles of flesh, skin, bones or entrails and is a byproduct of the fishing industry in Barbados. For a number of years, fish waste is dumped in the permitted landfills. But no, changes in the year. The flexible multi-partner mechanism through the Barbados Fish Silage Initiative is pioneering this project that is spearheaded by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations in collaboration with local and regional partners. This initiative isn't just about managing waste, it's about reinventing it, turning fish waste into a sustainable, nutrient-rich feed for livestock and a beacon of hope for environmental sustainability and agricultural productivity. Join us as we delve into this remarkable journey where innovation meets tradition and where the future of agriculture and environmental stewardship in Barbados is being rewritten. My name is Adrian Ford, Minister of Environment and National Beautification from the island of Barbados. It is known the world over that we are facing the actual planetary crisis associated with climate change. And one of the things that, uh, that certainly bedeviled the world is greenhouse gas. We know for that uh, fish waste, the awful as we know it, contributes to biomethane. And uh, the, 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 the history will tell us that biomethane is not good for our ozone. It, it, it is 28 times the strength of carbon dioxide as the leading to most gas. It produces 80% more heat than carbon dioxide if you compare more to more It is dangerous for our environment. Equally, in terms of our space and in, 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 in terms of our landfill space, we produce about 3,000 plus tons of waste from our fish a year. This is not a good thing that we put in, in our land. And we are saying with it, uh, a project that allows Barbados to have a circular means of ensuring that the sustainable development of livelihood is something that we welcome with open arms. The project built, um, built on an initiative which started in 2019. We for FAO, the cooperation of Argentina and our three line ministries agriculture, fisheries, and youth. At the launch of all that initiative, the value chain actors raised all three main questions. First, the safety and quality of the feed, then uh, the competitiveness of the feed from uh, silage, that price-wise, and the growth performance of uh, the animal that will be fed with uh, this uh, feed. These were the concerns effectively addressed by the FMM project. The project also established a national fish silage platform, which is a community of practice. It trained a group of women fish processors. It trained young farmers, livestock rearers, and its catalytic effect have been commendable with a private investment some pipeline trust fund all together making up uh, more than tenfold the funding of the FMM project. I will cite three main factors of uh, success for this project. The strong political buy-in, the extraordinary outreach and engagement. There have been a lot of communication, visibilities, on the processes, on the milestones as we progress. And last but not least, the value chain actors felt really part of the execution of the activities. They were driving the project, and this were very instrumental in the success of the project. We are producing about a ton of fish waste every day. 
which is then headed directly to the landfill. And we've been doing that for some time, perhaps longer than I have been around. In a perfect world, we begin, we take that ton and convert it into fish silage. Yeah, the fish silage initiative um, in Barbados is the kind of thing that contributes to the work and the mandate that, uh, that FAO is trying to uh, do in the world, and particularly in small island development states. It does that because it, it is an initiative that helps us uh, transform food system. It has many impacts from you know, adding value to production, from creating livelihoods for producers and farmers, including women uh, and young entrepreneurs by reducing uh, pressure you know, on the environment by not dumping waste in the landfills. This is the kind of initiative that FAO is very excited to support because of its multiple impacts. You know, we need impact if we are to transform food systems uh, in a more sustainable path. My name is Shino Griffith. I'm a member of Central Fish Processors Association, an all-women's fish or fork group that's based in the Bridgetown market. The fish silage training was very informative to me. I'm, when I say informative, I mean, it was just a theory at first, you know, the fish silage, and making it and stuff. So, but to really see it come out into fruition, it was really a blessing. The way how it came about, the, um, the process, the ingredients, and stuff like that, it really was an eye-opener. My name is Fabian Griffith. I'm a teacher and a farmer. Farming, I've been doing that um, just over five years. Using the fish silage feed um, proved to be rather comparable to the national feeds, rabbit feed. Um, we had very equal growth rates um, when we checked uh, in terms of our records. Um, the overall weight um, of the rabbits when we compared them um, was good. Um, it was probably off by like half, half an ounce or a couple ounces, so just a quarter of a pound within range. Um, but the growth with them, with the fish silage feed, is pretty good. Wayne Smith, the executive director of Barbados Ruminant Farm Services Inc., and that's a nonprofit. Our main aim is to bridge the gap between research, past, and current, and the farming community. And I work. We work mostly with young farmers in terms of developing their skills and their practices. Yeah, the concept was for our group, an alternate source of income, an equal share for all in a little small business we wanted to set up with the fish silage from waste to feed to fertilizer. So right now we offer a few things. Um, which is rapid meat um, and seasoned rapid meat. What we want to go forward and do right now, we, we have a new product. It is a pest repellent and foliar feed, um, which can be used on plants. And we also soon going to be introducing burgers, some rapid meat burgers. The project offers a lot of scope for the young farmers and in our space it is it is fundamental to, to what we do that we can use that we use as much local and what would it be con considered waste material for the making of feed. So silage now becomes one of the major components that available to us for the process. Uh, my name is Yahya Mgawe. I'm the FAO consultant for this uh, project on National Silage Training uh, Center here in Barbados. The next step is to create the demand. That is, if you incubate the youngsters, 
these youngsters who are very entrepreneurial are going to start up uh, businesses, agribusinesses to be more precise, farming, livestock keeping, and even aquaculture. And they will be able to use uh, this low cost fertilizers or animal feed and make a lot of profit out of that. We have met youngsters with huge vision uh, even to become one of the largest uh, producers of uh, this uh, farmer's product in Barbados. In the context of the, the fish installation, based on the experience that we have achieved so far, we have been able to mobilize some resources to support a capacity building initiative that would allow the creation of a uh, training center, training and capacity building center in Barbados that could serve as reference for not only other countries in the Caribbean, but other countries uh, in the world, specifically small island development states that are grappling with similar issues than Barbados uh, to benefit from this initiative. We have certainly had um, an engagement with uh, FAO and support, of course, from China to be able to have a national silage training facility. And this is new and exciting for us. We are first to be able to train, especially I spoke earlier about our young people. And even I, I wouldn't limit to young persons because those in the, um, the, tro at the children's stage in their lives, those uh, in the toilet of their years, if they're excited enough, could become part of this project. We are saying every single body who's interested could become part of the project. So we will have that, that training facility up and running in the not too distant future. We are supposed to be able to tr be trained in the techniques and the wherewithal so that we can have a sustainable silage industry. That's what we are saying. We are also going to um, advance the registration of our fishers and the Farmers Association because we believe that there must be a collaboration between the, those in the fishing industry and the farmers who are in the agribusiness. It's clear that this project is more than just a sustainable solution to fish waste management. It represents a forward-thinking approach to agriculture, one that harnesses Barbados' natural resources to fuel economic growth, empower communities, and protect our environment. This initiative is not just reducing our reliance on imported animal feed and preserving foreign exchange, but it's also paving the way for innovative agribusiness opportunities by engaging vital segments of our community. Through women and the youth, we're not just investing in a project, we're investing in people, we're investing in skills and in sustainable future Barbados. Together, Let's write the next chapter of Barbados' story of innovation and resilience. A chapter where our island not only thrives in the face of environmental challenges, but also leads the way in creating a sustainable, prosperous future for all. Come, join us.